Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I have another installment of my pink comparison series. We have three kind of hot neon pinks here today to talk about and I don't know that I've ever filmed one of these videos where my current nail polish clashed more with the nail polishes that I was comparing. I'm wearing Blair and it just, yeah, doesn't really go, doesn't work, but I love Blair. These three I feel fine about. Uh, so I'm gonna compare Ali, Yana, and Renee, and I'm excited to dive in. If you haven't seen others in this series, I will link up above the playlist so you can go check it out. You can see all of them. And I will put down below in my description box the playlist of all of my color comparisons from all the Zoyas that I've compared. All right, first up, we're looking at Ali, and Ali was released in 2009 in the Ooh La La and La Di Da collection, which is extremely fun to say. Um, this one is described by Zoya as an ultra bright, warm, medium neon pink cream. Uh, that's a lot of descriptors. Ultra bright, warm, medium neon pink cream. Um, it does say that it dries matte, but you can wear it with a glossy top coat to, you know, gloss it up. Um, and I did find that, that it dried matte, and I definitely suggest putting a glossy top coat on. Uh, they say this one is intensity five. I am going to let's watch all of these just so you can kind of see exactly what their formula is like, because as you know, neons can be a little bit tricky. So this one is Allie. All right, next up is Yana. This one is from the Stunning and Irresistible collection, which was the summer 2013 collection. This one, I think you can tell even just from the bottle, is a little bit more pigmented, a little bit more intense, and a little bit more opaque. Joya describes this one as a full coverage geranium pink cream. And in my bottle, I have this very subtle silver shimmer. Yep, you can see it right there. On the nail, I don't think you see it, and they describe it as a cream. So I do think that this one is a cream. I just have that little tiny bit of shimmer in here. Um, the only thing that I would disagree with is Zoya says that this one is a cool toned polish. I see this one as being pretty warm toned. Um, I think especially when I pull up my swatch sticks, I'll compare these to some pinks that I do think are actually cool toned. So let me know down below if you agree with me. Is this one warm toned or cool toned? Sometimes it is a little bit hard to tell, I will admit. All right, and last but not least, we have Renee, which is described by Zoya as a toned down medium berry cream, the perfect balance between a pink and a red. And this one is also from the Ooh La La and La Di Da collection from 2009. Um, I would say it's between pink and red, but it's this kind of like super bright, vibrant pink. This group was hard for me to classify. They look very similar, but I don't know that they have like a unifying theme. So anyways, we're going to talk about these three polishes. Let's look at them up close. All right. So here is Ali, Yana, and Renee. And Yana and Renee definitely look very close to each other down here. They look super similar. Um, Ali looks much more neon pink down here, especially I think off camera, it looks super neon pink. So in the bottle, I saw similarities here, but this is kind of my catch all. I didn't know where else to put these three so I'm putting them together. I do want to show you compared to Kana, which is the like, I think most commonly known neon pink from Zoya. And it's definitely this like much cooler toned neon pink. It's also, you know, much more like just a fluorescent, like this is what I think of when I think of neon pink. Ali is a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit warmer, I would say. So definitely Kana is different from these ones. It does have a similar neon formula to Ali where it dries down a little bit matte. And then I wanted to show you Lola. I think of Lola as being definitely a cool toned neon pink. It's not quite neon because it's a little bit shimmery, but I do love this super bright pink here and I feel like Ali it makes them all look very warm, even though Zoya claimed <laughs> that one of these was a cool tone polish. So I just want to show you this to kind of pull out the warm undertone in these three that we're looking at today. And then just to help situate these in some other pinks from Zoya, here's Ellie and Whitney. These ones are, I think, just to show you how kind of strange and red and bright these ones are. It's very hard to group these together, but they definitely don't fit into some of these other kind of brighter pink categories that I had. They are a group all on their own.
All right, awesome. I hope that was helpful. My favorite is definitely Yana. I really like how pink it is, how kind of rich and warm it is. I like these pinks. I like them that they're a little bit red, they're a little bit pink. They're not quite the like neon fuchsia. They have a little bit more interest to them, at least in my opinion. So I really like Yana. Renee and Allie are fine. They're just the formulas on these two are not ones that I that I loved So I would definitely go for Yana. Awesome. As always if you enjoyed this video Let me know down below and I hope that you will consider subscribing so that we can sit down and hang out and chat about nail polish again sometime I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye